Lock Strand, and I'll spell it L O F as in Frank, S as in Sam, T as in Tom, R A N as in Nancy, D as in David. Lock Strand, you can put slash Canadian slash forearm crutch. So this is called the Lock Strand. Canadian or forearm crutch. If I can't use the crutches that we just had, you can use this. This is for long-term use for someone who's either paralyzed or someone who has cerebral palsy or multiple sclerosis, MS, or a spinal cord injury, okay? These are not as stable as the crutches that I just showed you. They're not as stable as the crutches, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're, when we adjust these, we're gonna swing our legs through. You probably have seen this on Jerry's kids or like, what is it, uh, on Labor Day? Hmm? <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, because I don't know if you've seen anything, but for years and years, every Labor Day, there used to be a, um, a telephone with Jerry's kids and they were, um, you know, raising money for kids who had like multiple sclerosis and, you know, all these other different conditions and you would see them with the crutches. So, um, I know, yeah, that movie was like in the nineties, but he was, he's actually been doing this for like 30 or 40 years, but I don't think he's doing it. Um, I don't think it's, I think his daughter, well, I can't remember his daughter's from, but anyway, um, I don't think he's doing it anymore. So one of the things you want to do with this first, is I really want to adjust this here, which is going around, which is going around um, my forearm, okay? So what's important is I'm gonna adjust this first. You wanna make sure that it's not here where the bend of your arm is. It needs to be just below the bend of your arm, okay? And so I would need to adjust this. Pretty good, it's just below. And then of course, I want to adjust the wrist, okay? And I can adjust this by moving this up and down. someone who, again, is paralyzed from the waist down. Um, I mean, we're going to sound like I don't have my, my gait belt on. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring your, your lost strand Canadian forearm crutch out. Why? Because you're dealing with the forearm, right? Not the arm, but the forearm. That's really the one that's really giving you the, the balance and stability to be able to use the um, crutches. So I'm going to bring this forward and I'm going to swing my legs through. You'll see little kids and they're flying, mm -hmm. right? They're flying, that's what you're doing. So I know I've had a lot of people ask me, well, if you're paralyzed from waist down, how is it they're able to walk? And that's the beauty of it. Sometimes people would just use one cane too. So when you're swinging your legs through, it's all gravity and balance. When I swing my legs through, when I go heel to toe, in that swing motion, before I go forward, I'm already bringing the crutch down and I'm swinging my legs through again, okay? Heel to toe. So each time I'm moving, I'm never really having to stand even if I'm paralyzed from the waist down. So this allows me, the long strand Canadian crutch, allows me to ambulate 
because I wouldn't be able to do that with the crutches, but it allows me to ambulate even if I have a spinal cord injury or something like that, okay? All right, 